I wanted to give you a quick uh, chat and I set my timer because I gotta I'm working on the homelessness problem because I see a huge problem coming up and I actually had to look this word up cisgender gender I didn't even know what the heck it was and basically I looked into it and it turns out that it's a word for heterosexual people or people that are uh, born either male or female and it, the, the term was coined in the 1990s by a German researcher and it says uh, that they've been using it in a lot of their literature for their narratives well I'm trans you're cis uh, this sexual it's a German word and um, and his 1998 essay, the neo sexual revolution is what he's calling it uh, I guess they they say there's this new sexual revolution that's going on anyway so they've coined a lot of new terms and they've made their way into the uh, literature and it may have even made it way its way into academic papers and so on and so forth so there are some people that do not like that term and they find it offensive I'll tell you who, who finds it really offensive intersex youth intersex people there are people that are born with ambiguous uh, genitalia and uh, they don't like this cisgender because they have a movement toward being intact and being accepted for the way they are and they are upset and they don't want a binary gender uh, to be even uh, they want to have trigender or you know the nuances of some people so basically people are born with both hormones in them uh, but their DNA and how they are get expressed is uh, you know different than the 90% of people born or whatever so it's easy for people to just sort of categorize stuff and uh, there's a current market here an economic market for transgender there's a lot of money in transgender uh, in the medical community they can make a lot of money on these people they'll be lifelong on drugs or uh, synthetic hormones and things like that they usually develop health problems from the hormones that gives them more money so it gets them in with the big pharma now um, you know I don't I don't know a lot about it but basically it came up with the homelessness now the homelessness is what I'm interested in I don't think anybody should be homeless and uh, there is discrimination against transgender people people any people that don't fall within the 99% or the 90% or the 80% of people often find themselves targeted whether it's their gender their gender identity uh, they're tall or short they're fat they're skinny way too skinny maybe the, you know just all kinds of things maybe they can't walk maybe they can't see maybe they're old whatever whatever the discrimination is they're trying to get data they're saying that um, you know they don't really have enough data on this but they're thinking that disproportionately transgender people are more homeless uh, because they get uh, kicked out of their homes by their family because the family are like you're a freak get out of here um, then they try to get a job and it's like going down it's just being treated horribly so um, a lot of these articles uh, use the word cisgender and I'm like what the heck is cisgender what is cisgender it sounds like a sissy are you a sissy if you don't uh, want to switch stuff up I don't know or I have no idea but I don't like that word myself I find it offensive and um, 
so basically a lot of times you change the world you change the the word you change the narrative you change the world but basically they're saying transgender are uh, more 60 percent their odds are in their favor of being unsheltered being kicked to the curve being let out on the street when somebody finds out they're uh, not falling within the uh, box that everybody's supposed to fit into and everybody doesn't fit in the same box so a lot of them have chronic health issues 38 percent 50 percent of them at least half of them have identified mental health issues maybe depression and anxiety from the way they're being treated I don't know almost 69 percent almost 70 percent of them have a drug or alcohol issue well that again could be a coping mechanism for their gender issue of not being like 89 percent of the people 39 percent of them have learning disabilities 30 percent of them have 50 uh, dis physical disabilities and 21% of them have an HIV issue. And 42% of them avoid medical treatment. And 43% of them harm themselves or others. And 31% of them are known to have... Uh, uh, by the way, this is by a sheltered and non-sheltered status. 48% of them have... Uh, basically, they're being treated like crud. And that's not fair. We need to help each other out. Humanity first. Anyway, uh, I got this email. I, I'm on their mailing list because I'm working with homelessness. And basically, they sent me a letter telling me that the Democrats are blocking a measure for money for um, the homelessness in Congress for the... Uh, stimulus but they're saying that the thing that they're blocking is insufficient and that money needs to be set aside for homelessness and I agree you know I, I as a real estate agent I watched the last bubble and I saw a lot of old people that had a lot of equity in their home maybe four hundred thousand dollars or more and right now I would not put it past banks to try to foreclose on people during this pandemic and cash out on their equity a lot of times what happens is when the market starts to go up for the value of homes people tend to get foreclosed on more but what happens was uh, that when they foreclose on more homes the value of the homes go down and they can't sell them so a lot of it has to do with timing so homelessness is a huge problem and um, there are certain segments of populations that have problems with homelessness and it's very difficult to count how many homeless people there are because we are not counting all the homeless people we're also not counting all the unemployed people the statistics that they use are skewed they're targeted on point in time data in homeless shelters there aren't enough homeless shelters at all and a lot of states are making it illegal to be homeless in the United States there are homeless people all across the world and and we don't have the actual number of all these refugees of modern civilization and it's time now that we count our blessings and do what we can because too much whom is given much is expected. I hope I didn't offend anyone by clarifying this. I just thought I'd hop on and do another quickie. I have a, a full agenda today, so um, if you want to look at this link, it is below. And um, there are a bunch of reasons people uh, become homeless and who experiences it. Uh, there's a lot of money that's earmarked for certain segments of populations and uh, uh, veterans, abused women, but they only have temporary shelters. But there's a lot of people that fall through the cracks, a lot of people that get foreclosed on, and a lot of people that just don't fit into those boxes 
to get help and they need help and and I I really want people to ponder to think about what's really going on and see what they can do in their communities to help people because we need to love one another we're all cut from the same cloth and I appreciate each and every one of you thanks for listening take care have a great rest of your day any ideas or suggestions are greatly appreciated. Take care. Bye.